Hello everyone, Mystic here, and welcome to my guide for the 2020 Hive Christmas event quests. I've seen a lot of people have trouble with some of these, and I can understand why, because I had some trouble with the later half. So, let's just begin it. Santa needs us to get six things, which are six individual quests. Quests are able to be seen by these blue exclamation marks. There's three around Santa, and there's three not around Santa. I'll be going along in what I believe is the most efficient order, starting with running errands. Basically, to sum up all of this right here, she wants us to go to the other workshop and collect some wood. The other workshop is from the workshop we do the quest at, all the way at the opposite end of the hub area. There's this new house, which if you enter, and then go up the stairs, you'll see that it leads outside and over to the other workshop. Then you talk to this guy, which would talk about wood, and there's some around the workshop. The closest one is right here, basically next to him. Also, if you're wondering, there's the Dora the Explorer hub title, right underneath there. Next up is a much more different quest, but honestly, a lot of people had trouble with this at the start. I also had a little bit of trouble, until I realised what I had to do. So you'll be talking to this elf next, which has the Lost Elf Challenge. Also, you have every quest item in your inventory. The Lost Elf is on the right side from when you leave the workshop. The Lost Elf, though, this is what caught me off, does not exactly look just like a normal elf at first. When you start to get near where the Lost Elf is, you should gain a bit of chat, which has an unknown voice say that it's cold in here. Sometimes though, like right now, you don't actually get that. And as you can see down here, it's the elf, but he's frozen. So you go over to here. You interact with the flint steel, and then on the fire. And now the elf falls out, you talk to him, and you get your hammer. The reason that we're doing both of the two elves in Santa's workshop first, is because now we're able to go to the other side of the lobby as a whole. While we were going towards the beach and the dock, now we're going to run along towards the castle, or more specifically the back of it. Just do a quick little bit of jumping around over here, and you should very, very quickly reach the back of the castle. There's the hive sign over there, so you, when you're on this path and you see that, you know you're on the right track. And just over around this corner and through this little cave you will see a very very sad snowman this is because people have taken his hat scarf both his arms nose and coal it's 35 seconds once you begin run to the right of him or one to the right of where you see him you got to punch to collect all the items. Just make sure you punch them, otherwise you might need to run around, which would waste time. Towards the end of this is a bit of parkour. And you will need to complete this parkour as the items are along the parkour. you will be teleported straight back to the snowman which is now really happy and you can collect your glue the next one 
if we carry on running along here, is the second one distant from Santa, which all it requires is for you to do this parkour. If you're not good at parkour, the best tip from someone that can do parkour fairly well is to pause right before the jump, go backwards a little bit so you've got some sprinting room, sprint and then jump. And at the top are the nails. The final two quests are possibly a mixture of the easiest and the hardest. The first one we'll do of these two is the easiest. You can run through the throne room, run through the door, and now, over here, you can go either left or right, down the staircase, and behind Santa is this book. It will talk about going to the top of the castle, also to give Santa the items, just interact with him while holding the item. I'll be doing the four of those first because these final two won't be able to fit in the inventory. So what you do is you run all the way over here, up the staircase, towards the balcony. You then run up the stairs by the balcony, and you go up the spiral staircase all the way to the top. This does take quite a while, because the castle is pretty tall. We're now at the roofing of most of the castle. We climb up this ladder, and now we climb up this tower. This is a bit quicker than the other spiral staircase, because it's a smaller spiral. Then finally, if you go around this pole, and up these ladders to get to a book. This book will give you the code, but the code is also based on every player. So every code will be different. So you have to always go up there to find out initially. But, anytime you reset the Santa quest, it will never change. So you always have the same one every time as a player. This gives you the gear. The final one, which is possibly the most confusing to find and then complete, you go up to the main spawn, you run behind the quest master towards the well. You jump in the well, and as you can see, you fall down here with a gingerbread man. And to get the final item, you've got to do this maze. You go left first, then right, twice, and then right again, and it's a loop. So, you automatically now go left, then you've got to go, <laughs> got to go to the first right, it's been a little bit since I've done this, then you go to the second right that you would have, dark here for some reason, go all the way down, go through here, left, and here it is. There is your paint. And then it leads you straight towards where Santa is, which explains why this is the best one to do last. You give it to Santa, and it will say that you can obtain the reward, which is 200 quest points, a skin, which is a reindeer, and the hub title, Santa's Little Helper. And as you can see, you can choose to restart or abort. Abort is basically just backing out of it, and restarting will completely rebegin the process. And that's that. So. I guess all I have to say now is, hopefully this helped you out, and I'm Mr. Gamer. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.